quite a statement to make that, Trevor, isn't it? We were complicit within the harassment of young women in television because of a particular character in the office who was great at his job, but a little bit weird. Well, I don't think it's that surprising, to be perfectly honest. As I came off the... I brought this question up because I was in front of a, an audience of TV bosses. I was mm. chairing uh, a discussion. And it seems to me that at some point we've all got to say, OK, there are terrible, there, there are big issues, there's the Weinstein, there are people who get picked out. But the truth of the matter, a lot of that happens and gets disguised because in a lot of industries, including our own, there's a sort of culture of impunity for the small transgressions that make women feel uncomfortable in the office. Were you aware at the time the sort of the ramifications of that sort of behaviour? Well, I don't think anybody was. As, as I say, I came off the state and somebody that I've known for 40 years who works in the industry said you could feel everybody in the room going, yeah, I, I was there. And she then told me about a couple of examples in her own life where she, as a boss, had also said, oh, well, we'll, we'll, miss, we'll miss that out. So my, she'd covered up for someone well, she'd been complicit. My point is, it's not about being covered up. Mm. My point was, this was the norm. So, for example, yesterday someone else said, yeah, there's a particular person that we both know. All the women in the office used to go on alert because he would come in and he would stand behind you, apparently looking at your work, but actually looking down your top. My point about this is that it, it's not sort of like some big admission. I, I was the person who brought it up. My point was, this is what everybody does. It's what everybody accepts and everybody ignores. I was talking about my time in the industry, which is now 20 years ago, but, my, but I think this is still true. So you think it's still relevant now, that still happens? Well, ask any woman in the business, uh, and indeed many other businesses, banking and so on, um, and in the last 48 hours, I haven't actually spoken to a single woman who hasn't said, yeah, I recognise that. Well, I mean, you know, that's, that's something that you could comment on. You what sort of a behaviour are you talking about? Because I think there would be... You know, we have an issue at the moment, don't we, about whether stuff is sexual harassment or whether it's banter mm. and where the line is. And one of the problems you're highlighting is the, the point where the office says it's just banter, but the woman herself feels like she's being sexually harassed, then people are complicit. But actually, that line can be different for different people, can't it? It can be different for different people, but the, the point uh, that I'm really trying to make here is, first of all, we have to talk about this openly so that we can all agree what is legitimate behaviour and what's not legitimate behaviour. We're not talking about things that are criminal. What we're talking about are the things that make life difficult for a particular group of people, in this case, women, and which in the end mean, for example, they are less capable of doing well at their jobs, uh, that they are in the culture regarded perhaps not quite in, at the same level as everybody else. These are things which you can't really, you can't criminalise and probably they don't even uh, get to the level of disciplinary, mm. but they are things that put people at, at a disadvantage. So how do you stop them then? Well, I think the first thing you have to do is talk about it. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to say, it, it's slightly... Um, I mean, it's all right for me. It's I, risky. I, I, I'm, it's I, well, risky talking about it, Well, exactly. It? My point yeah. is, I'm a, I'm a kind of old war horse. Uh, I'm not in the business anymore. It doesn't really matter to me. But I think the, the fact that people react in the way they do, yeah. oh, gosh, he admitted to something terrible, rather than saying, this is an issue for all of us, is one of the reasons that people don't come forward because they feel they're then going to become yeah. the object of, uh, of criticism. My point is, first, talk about it. Secondly, I think, you know, in my firm, we do cultural audits, and there are two very big firms in the United States where, essentially, uh, people were sacked because of what we were able to, to discover. And some of this just goes way below, below, below the radar, and people, day after day, say, oh, no, we can't talk... It's not worth talking about. My problem... But mm. my point is... A, a thousand tiny transgressions add up to the wrong culture. Have you, have you ever felt, uh, th through coming and talking about this and opening this up, like you say, that you, you feel like it's important to talk about it, that there are, there's people that you've needed to maybe go to or you maybe in the past have said, look, I'm really sorry, I didn't realise at the time, but perhaps by my behaviour, I've made you feel uncomfortable because you were covering up for somebody else. Have you ever actually had to apologise to somebody because of being complicit within that? No, because I, I, I don't think it really works with it like that. I mean, if, if somebody came to me now and said, 
I worked for you in 1987 and you never noticed that this was happening. Yeah. Of course I'd say, goodness me. Mm. But actually that's the point. We don't think about it. Yeah. And it's particularly significant in industries like sport and entertainment, because one of the reasons we don't think about it is somebody who is making a lot of money for us, who's a big star, or even maybe a medium star, is somebody we go, oh, well, it's, you know, it's Jack. It's just and, how he is. And it's just how he is. It's part of his genius. Well, we've got to stop saying that. Being unpleasant, making people feel uncomfortable at work, is no part of anybody's genius and it just has to be stopped.